organs could soon be used to extend the lives of people in desperate need of organ transplants. An estimated 17 people a day die waiting for a transplant. ABC 13's Rachel Tillipaw tells us about a potentially life-saving procedure being perfected using pigs. Okay. All right. David Bennett was a father, dog owner, and football fan. At age 57, doctors diagnosed Bennett with terminal heart disease. Bennett was so sick, his family approached the Food and Drug Administration for an exemption to try a new type of operation. My dad is someone that is, he's a fighter, he's very strong-willed. This new operation was made possible by Revivacorp, based out of Montgomery County in southwest Virginia. Revivacor researchers sent a pig heart to the University of Maryland for transplant. Here you come. That's it. Sing it nice and loud. Here's Grace. That's it. That's David Bennett about a month after the operation in 2022. He died 60 days after the experimental transplant, time he wouldn't have spent with his family without the operation. David Bennett is a hero. He knew that what he was doing was enabling a technology and the development and learning from that transplant that's going to benefit, you know, thousands of other people. This groundbreaking surgery is something that Dr. David Ayers has been working on for decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In medical school, he yeah. says he discovered mammal cells could be cloned and used in humans. Now working with big mice or pigs and gene editing those those pigs for organ transplant applications. Through research, he says he discovered pigs are 97% genetically compatible to humans. And the whole point behind um, you know, the xenotransplantation is to have an unlimited supply of donor organs. And over here, he's got uh, a pipette. He's going to poke into that egg. The xenotransplantation process works like this. First, a female pig's eggs arrive from a facility in Wisconsin. Then doctors remove four pig genes from the nucleus of the egg and add six human genes. Doctors implant the modified egg inside a female pig at the farm in Montgomery County. Once implanted, it takes about four months for the sows to give birth to a litter of cloned pigs. So within six to 12 months, they grow from a newborn all the way to 200 kilo animal um, that can be used as an organ donor. Currently, Revivacor's farm has around 300 pigs. Modified pig hearts have been used for transplants twice so far. First with David Bennett, then with Lawrence Fawcett in 2023. My next step at that point would be to deem healthy enough to go home at some point. That would be the first miracle. Um, the second miracle would be a month later. That miracle did happen. Dr. Ayers says Fawcett lived a month longer than he would have without the pig heart transplant. Another success. According to the Federal Health Resources and Services Administration, more than 100,000 people are on transplant lists across the country. You see that? I spoke with the head of transplant surgery at the University of Virginia. He says in Virginia, 800 people currently need transplants. Dr. Sean Pelletier believes using pig organs won't ever fully replace transplanting human organs. But he says it could buy valuable time. Being able to use pig organs uh, for humans could uh, greatly expand who were able to transplant the timing so that patients don't have to be the sickest person on the list. He sees pig organ transplants as a viable option for the future. I think the, the upcoming steps are going to be having multiple transplant centers throughout the country doing this under a research protocol so that we can learn the benefit, the right way to do this and then have it distributed more widely as a routine practice. He wanted to help people. For Bennett's son, who did get more time with his father, he says this experimental procedure is worth the risk. This provided opportunity and hope for others. Revivacor plans to open a new facility in Christiansburg this month. Dr. Ayers will seek FDA approval after additional transplant trials have been completed. That could take a year or more. Once he gets FDA approval, these organs could be sold to medical facilities around the country. Back to you. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.